behalf of the men and women of the Summer Police Department, we'd like to thank you for our continued support that we've had between the police department and the community. It takes the community to be our eyes and ears, to inform us, to work together, to let us know what's going on in the community that affects you. What we're hoping to do is have a continuous outreach to the community. We'll be using more social media, such as these videos, to talk about target hardening programs, how we can keep you safe, some techniques that we have from our program experts. We'll also be expanding our social outreach with Facebook, Twitter, as well as expanding our website. It'll make it easier for you to communicate with the police department and particularly to communicate with your neighborhood police officer. Each ward has a community police officer that's available to assist you and if the time permits, can come to your residence to see how we can best safeguard you and to address any concerns you have. Please feel free to call us at the Somerville Police Department or through our website you can contact us and perhaps even better through our neighborhood police officer. On behalf of the Police Department, thank you for your continued support. It's very important that if you see something suspicious in your neighborhood that you call us right away. So many times we talk to people after a crime has already been committed and they tell us that they saw someone the day before or a couple of days before that didn't look like he or she belonged there or they saw a suspicious vehicle and they thought about calling and didn't. We are here 24 hours a day and it's crucial that if you see something that doesn't look right, it probably isn't and you should call us. The more information we have, the better off uh, we can investigate the crimes that are committed. If you live in an apartment building, you have to make sure that you know the people you are buzzing into your apartment. Uh, you definitely shouldn't be letting anyone into the building that you don't know. So many times we hear uh, of people just, you know, their doorbell rings and they don't bother to ask who it is and they just buzz them in and now some strange person's in the apartment building that doesn't belong. If they're standing outside and they're not already buzzed into the building, there's probably a good reason for that. If you're going away and you want to let your neighbors know to keep an eye on your property, um, that's really important, as well as having someone collect your mail and your newspapers. People that are out there that are looking to break into houses or looking for mail building up, newspapers, open windows. Another thing, if you're leaving for work in the morning, it, you should definitely you know, close and lock your windows, make sure your doors are locked, and do everything you can to protect your property. The car brakes are are probably our most active brakes right now. They're even more active than the, uh, the burglaries themselves. And that's understandable. They go along pretty smooth all year round with the same amount of uh, incidents occurring, even during the winter time. Uh, house brakes, right now I'm looking at uh, probably from the beginning of the calendar year here, we're probably looking at 16% of uh, our house brakes are due to uh, unlocked doors and windows. That's how the uh, that's how entrance is gained, unfortunately, and that will probably climb up to about 20 percent before the year is out. Uh, most of our house breaks are are from forced entries. Naturally, we probably get 60 or 70 percent of, of the house breaks are from forced entries. The uh, car breaks themselves we range about 30 percent over the course of a calendar year. That uh, we're we're cars are left unlocked or windows down and uh, they just get in there and they, they, they do what they have to do. Very easy. 20% of those uh, how, uh, car breaks we, we usually have smashed windows. They break the window, they reach in, unlock the car and uh, just take whatever they can. Overall we've had some uh, great results so far this year. Uh, we've been fortunate that both those incidents, the car breaks and house uh, residential and commercial breaks are down. We're down 23% from last year on the residential and commercial breaks and we're down 20% on the car breaks. People that live in the city or, or people that are going to move into the city, they ask me how do they, you know, how can they protect their property, you know, and with car breaks it's very simple, you know, it's out of, I give them a simple rule, out of sight, out of mind. Just keep everything out of sight. Keep those GPS's out of there. Keep the mounts off the dashboards. Keep your donuts off the windshield from your mounts and just even the wires themselves, the power cords. You know, they see the power cords no matter what it is, whether it's an iPod, uh, cell phone, or your GPS. They look at those and they figure, well, there's got to be something in there, you know, that has these power cords and they'll go in there and they'll break into the car. Um, of course, the most, most thefts that we do have with the motor vehicles are uh, small electronics. It's as simple as that. They take these electronics, unfortunately we have 
uh, uh, certain suspects that we've arrested in the past for these car breaks and house breaks and a lot of them are drug addicts and what they do is they'll take a GPS that's worth a couple hundred bucks and they'll pawn it for 50 bucks before the day is out just for a day's fix so just keep those things out of sight and out of mind. If you're a victim of a house break in the city of Somerville, first thing to do is do not enter the home. Just take a step back, exit the premises, and call the police. Dial 911. Once they've cleared the scene and there's no suspect, uh, we want to preserve the crime scene as best as we can. A detective will respond, and the first thing they'll do is um, interview the first responding officers and the victim of the crime. The primary concern is to preserve the evidence, um, which could be latent fingerprints in an area that the suspect or suspects may have uh, touched. It could uh, be footprints. A lot of times in, um, in the city, the houses have a common hallway. Sometimes mail is scattered throughout that front area. And we have recovered footprints um, off, off mail for comparison to the suspect. It's recommended don't go back into the house because a lot of times the evidence will be disturbed. A television set that maybe the suspect was going to move out of the house and now it's left at the open back door could be processed for latent fingerprints and now if you move that or someone else moves it you could um, contaminate that evidence there are other things like a window if they went through the window and now you go and shut it you could contaminate the evidence and we do have our own fingerprint identification system here at Sunville Police that we can take latent prints and download them for comparison to uh, suspects if they're not in our system and we could send them to the state police to the lab. You don't have to spend a lot of money to feel more secure in your home, but you do need a plan. Most homeowners put little or no thought into home security, and as a result, thieves benefit. With some observation and careful thought, you can create a plan that makes thieves skip your house and move on to an easier target. First, you must realize there's no such thing as absolute security. Thieves want to get in, they will. The goal isn't to turn your house into a fortress. The goal is to make your home an unattractive target for thieves. There are three things that scare burglars off, and that's what we're going to discuss to make your home a hotter target. First, let's start with the lighting. At night, there's exterior motion lights. If somebody walks by at night, it activates the light, it comes on a floodlight. Position it in the back of your home, your rear door, position it in your driveway on your front walk. It's very useful. Next for the interior of your home is the basic timer. You plug in an appliance and a certain time you set the timer the appliance will go on. This time of year when you're turning your clocks back you get stuck at four o'clock, you're still at work. Very useful to have. Your house will be dark for two three hours before you get home and they'll know it's vacant. Another product they've got here now is the Dust of Dawn for your exterior light. It comes on at dusk and it shuts itself on at dawn. Time is another enemy of the thieves. Thieves want an easy entry. It's important to have a strong, solid door and a good frame. The weakness is usually in the frame itself. The front door is the main point of entry. Burglars either kick it in or pry it open. A good deadbolt lock with the bolt that extends into the frame at least an inch. Brands vary as to strength and durability, so do a little research before buying. Also with this you add an extended striker plate with three inch screws that are secure directly to the frame of the house. This dissipates the force onto the door and with the three inch screws into the frame of the home it gives it that much more strength. A latch shield or a knife guide will protect against prying or shimming of the door. These products will make your home a harder target to hit. It'll take more time and make more noise for the burglar, which they do not like. Sash locks for the windows, window pins, regulate the height of the window as they go up. Clear the bushes from in front of your windows, clear the barrels and other objects that be used to give a thief a leg up into the window. For sliding glass doors, you got a Charlie bar here, prevents the door from being open as well as prevent it from being lifted up out of the tracks. Well, obviously an alarm system. And maybe not in the budget, but there are many alarms. Easy enough, you put them over your window, your door, make a loud enough noise for them to hear. Okay, as we spoke of earlier, we have the timers. Plug in a radio or TV. The motion sensors we saw earlier can be hooked up to an audible alarm. 
if you're at home uh, in your bed at night and you hear a noise downstairs, activate your car alarm in the driveway. Any type of noise will scare the, the burglar away. As a renter, you may not have complete control over your home security measures, but you could probably work with your landlord some of these simple low-cost solutions to make your home or apartment a harder target. The City of Somerville's RAP initiative is a program that's designed to help recover the loss of electronic devices. RAP is an acronym that stands for Web-Based Registry Anti-Theft Program. Uh, its goals are to serve as a theft deterrent as well as to raise awareness to the residents of the city about the theft of portable electronic devices. Crime as a whole is down in the City of Somerville, however, portable electronic device theft is up both here as well as most areas of Metro Boston. And the purpose of this program is to create a database that allows the police to have uh, a running list of make, model, serial number, and other distinguishing features of electronic devices in an effort to have them recovered. Sign up is relatively simple, there's three steps involved. Step one is to visit the City of Somerville's website. The second step is to click on the register your electronic devices link you enter the information that I mentioned earlier and finally the third step is once we receive that information we will send you a packet in the mail that has a sticker just like here on my cell phone that you put on your device and it acts as a deterrent to any potential thieves that uh, that lets them know that your device can be tracked and recovered by the police. With the support of Somerville Police Chief Thomas Pascarello and Mayor Joseph Curtis Tony, this program was presented to you today with hopes that you will be less likely a victim of a property crime. Photograph and document serial numbers so that you can provide important information to the police in case of theft. Purchase renter's insurance. Renter's insurance is the type of insurance that helps offset your losses due to damage or theft. Check the local pawn shops if you are a victim. Pawn shops are often the places to go for criminals who want to make a quick profit. There are several of these pawn shops in the area and you can obtain more information about these pawn shops by contacting the Somerville Police Department Detective Bureau and speaking with the detective directly. In closing, the Somerville Police Department is committed in creating partnerships by keeping you informed and educated on safety concerns and crime prevention techniques. Together, we are more effective inventing theft and fighting crime. Thank you.